We're going to go over some four basic throws with bow shirking today. Pay attention because we're going to go fast. So the traditional grip with bow shirking is put it in the middle of your palm. Let it fall forward to your middle finger and pointer finger and hold it with your thumb. Quick grip tip. That's it. You want to be in the middle. Let it fall forward and hold on to it. As I'm throwing, I cock my wrist back, and as the wrist comes down and forward, the shuriken will fly out of my hand like a, I'm stroking down with a brush on a, a fence post. This, you'll have to build up after a while to get this down, because if I project it, it's going to make the shuriken spin and tumble. We want to try and get these to throw, uh, fall through the air fast and straight with no tumble. This is the ideal way to throw a bow shuriken. For accuracy, it helps as well. And so we're gonna go over the basic throw first. This is the most uh, easiest throw to master, and you start very close to the target so that you can get your feeling of letting the shuriken go into the target. So I'm gonna just stand with my feet parallel. My hand comes up towards my forehead, and I'm gonna rock forward with my body a little bit as I throw this straight into the target, sinking my knees and dropping into the throw. You might find that sometimes your shuriken starts to tumble forward, so I'll throw one like that, and it gets a, a bounce off the target like this. That means I'm having an over-rotation issue, and that means I've got to get the brush stroke down more so that I project it straight into the target with a good throw. The only way you're gonna get this basic throw down is by throwing a lot. So try this one with your feet parallel at first, like in a good Shizen no Kamai. That's a great way. Then if you wanna try putting one foot forward, you can do the same basic throw, sinking into your body, letting it come forward and getting that type of feeling in your body as well. So that is the basic throw. The second throw that we'll go over is the traditional throw. So if I have three shuriken, I'm gonna take the pointed ends and hold them in my left hand so that when I squeeze them together, they splay out. Well, I'll have these by my left hip splayed out. My right hand's gonna come over. I place it right in the middle of the palm and grab one out. This comes up to my forehead then. I bring my other arm up with the other shuriken in it, and I have this ready to throw. As I come forward, my left arm pulls back, my right arm throws through at a 45 degree angle, and I release into the target, the traditional throw. So we're here, I reach over on the left side, bring it up, get my targeting, step forward and release. Reach over, Come up, step forward and release. Reach over, step up, step forward and release. This is the traditional throw, and you can play with your feet. One forward, the other one forward. You can try having both feet squared off. Just play with it in a bunch of different ways. It's good to explore what works for you and the feeling that it brings out in your body because you'll start to explore new things with it instantly. The third throw that we'll go over is called the snapshot. So the snapshot, I hold it in the same manner in my hand that I threw with the other two, and I'm gonna let my wrist go loose like it's a whip, like I'm holding it and cracking a whip. When I do that, I'm gonna also use my body at the same time. So as I bring my hand up nice and loose, I'm gonna step up and then let this come forward and I'm gonna let my hand go through that, that motion of the whip. So this is called the snapshot. I'm here, step up and project into the target. Snapping the shot. And so you can see the shuriken that came into the target. This 45 degree angle of how it's coming down is how the shuriken master in Japan told us this is a really good ideal hit because it means your brush stroke is happening. If you had one that was aimed up like this, 
it means that your rotation is starting to go over too much and you're over rotating so if I was 10 feet away or 15 feet away I'm going to start not making my shots then so you're trying to get this downward 45 degree motion so that's the third shot the snapshot and the fourth one that I'd like to challenge you guys out there to try and do is the side shot so I'm going to hold it same traditional manner I'm going to have this come out behind me and I'm going to step through and throw with a sideways throw and this naturally puts a brush into your hand and your wrist comes back as well so what I've found with beginners teaching them sometimes they can sink this throw even easier than the basic throw coming forward and it builds up confidence quickly and they're having fun with it and that's what we're all doing this for anyway is just to have a bunch of fun with this stuff get a tradition feel it and have body mind spirit connection so the side throw coming in releasing it sideways so there's the side throw We've gone over the basic throw, the traditional throw, the snapshot, and the side throw. These are just four easy, quick, basic throws. We have a ton of them, but this will get you started on your journey of bow shirking.